Wars Hoodcraft Survival. Today I'm just going to be doing a video in this sort of blizzard that we're having right now. It's about 29 degrees. I want to do a video on my rucksacks or my bushcraft backpack that I carry in most of my videos. So I'm just going to be talking you guys through it because I get so many questions on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube that I just want to do a full video that I can reference to and people can just see a full video about the details of it and so I don't have to constantly answer these questions that I get you know quite often so before we start the video I want to address something real quick this hat I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments and questions about it the reason I'm wearing a wide brim hat today is to keep the snow from getting into my face instead of a warm hat I'm using this wide brim one so that the snow I can just turn my head down it sort of blocks the snow from going in my eyes and going in my mouth and nose and so I just wanted to address that real quick feel free to leave comments about it how funny it looks or something like in the comments down below so this rucksack is an ILBE assault pack this is in Marpack camo which means marine pattern this is one of my all-time favorite camos but I don't like it on a lot of things I like it just mainly in a bag and then it has coyote brown webbing which is probably one of my favorite uh, secondary colors is coyote brown now it just has two pockets in it just his main pocket I keep my flashlight and that's it in there it just got that big you know it's a pretty roomy pocket it works really well I mean it's got fray in there and that you can see the webbing being stitched so but I, this is has a material over it to make it more water resistant it's not just webbing I don't know exactly what they use uh, but it makes it more water resistant so I haven't had a huge problem with water getting in the pack but it's not waterproof now I keep a d-ring or I should call it a carabiner on the side or on the back of it to just quickly clip on things uh, just real quick I can just click clip something on and then I don't have to worry about it just have it on the back okay so another advantage of having this backpack is the versatility of it you know it's a camo backpack so a lot of people you know steer away from camo nowadays but I, I enjoy the camo backpacks that the military offers you know as surplus one is the versatility of this is um, a good advantage of it with all the molly webbing on the sides and on the back I have med kit over here and then you just have simple straps the straps aren't great but they work you know they're pretty thin and not very spongy but they work well you know I don't load this pack up very heavy at all it's very lightweight pack and um, in the sense of how much I weigh it down with stuff inside so I don't weigh it down too much if I have more weight I'll carry my Alice pack that has ILBE straps on it not these straps but different ones um, so on here at going to the top you have these two um, ports here that are made for the antenna of a radio so you would stick your radio antenna through here and have normally this was used as a radio bag and then you have another port a third port here and these remain covered when not in use so that you don't get any liquid rain or snow or anything in there and this other port is for a uh, tube of a water bladder that some people carry you know have the tube out and so you can just drink water out of your backpack without taking your backpack off so that you just have another port there you do have a very strong carry handle a lot of packs nowadays don't have these and I do like to have a good strong carry handle because I use it quite often and going to the back portion or the front I don't know exactly what they call this back or front um, it is a flat back so that means that you're gonna get sweat stains um, because it's going to be flat up against your back if you sweat a lot it's gonna soak into here and it does have two uh, waist or just one waist strap I guess but on either side and then that will just go around your waist um, to further secure the pack I don't use those because I don't weigh this down very much because if I weigh it down anymore the pack straps are uncomfortable and so going into the main zipper on here it's supposed to have these two zippers that are both supposed to work but this one is broken and I mean this pack is very well used and abused and you can see there's a lot of fray it's just sort of coming apart the zippers completely broken 
it's got sweat stains all over it. Um, one of these uh, waist straps is coming unsewed, so I'm going to have to sew that back on. That's part of the reason I don't use them, but other reasons I don't really need them very much. But it is coming unsewed, so if I want to use it, I do have to fix that. Now, going to the outside before the center is this med kit I just mentioned. Uh, this is 100% med kit, so it's all just medical supplies. And this is mainly built by myself, although I did buy the kit as it comes. I just added more onto it, and I took everything out and only added back in what I actually use and I know how to use. That way, I know my med kit very intimately. And I just add, you know, band-aids and alcohol preps at the top so I don't have to go digging through it. And also tape and gloves and then some gauze. The simple areas that um, just have, like... Uh, the band-aids and alcohol preps to clean a small wound. I don't have to go digging through it. It's just right at the top. And that's where I'll use the most. Um, in the main compartment, I have this Hidden Woodsman uh, Tinder bag that's holding my DSLR camera that I take photos with. I have my Shimog, which is a good versatile, versatile piece of kit for this time of year and pretty much every time of year. I have my clean canteen. I have a Tinder bag that actually has tinder in it. And then I have my main bushcraft kit that I've done a complete video on. I'll put a link below to the video on that. And then in this main compartment, you can see it's, there's a lot of fray on here. Um, you have this extra sleeve so you can put things down the, uh, right up against your back. I think that's for the water bladder. And then you have these two hooks here which is for an extra bag that goes inside. But as it stands, I just keep it how it is. And then just a pretty good main compartment. One thing I really wish it had was straps on the bottom. So that I could strap my tripod for my camera right on the bottom. So I don't have to strap it onto the side. And I can have more things strapped to the side of my tripod on the bottom. But it just doesn't. I'd have to add that myself or hire someone to add that. But as it, it works fine as it is. And so I'm just going to put this stuff back wipe all the snow off now I'm just gonna have a bunch of snow in my bag this hidden woodsman bag is really useful I carry extra camera batteries extra SDs a different lens or just my camera in here as often as I can so I don't have to carry a complete camera bag I also have that small little tinder bag that works fine. So that's pretty much just my Bushcraft rucksack. Um, it works well for me. It's very simple. It's not too complex, but it is also versatile. I just like to have a lot of webbing on my backpacks or Velcro or something like that. Or extra straps on the side and extra straps on top and on the bottom. Like I said, I wish this had straps on the bottom. And I wish it had Molly on the bottom too. Um, and I wish it had maybe straps on top and maybe some Molly on top also. Just to add a little bit more would be nice, but as it stands, it's fine. I mean, this has been very well used and abused. It's held up well though. I'm gonna have to do repairs on it because it's um, slowly falling apart and fraying and things. But it works well for me, and the aesthetic of it isn't too pleasing anymore. But it's not something I really care about. And so I just wanted to talk you guys through that because I get so many questions about it. Um, so this is, you know, just a quick video on my backpack. It works for me. It doesn't have to necessarily work for everybody, but, it, you know, it works for me. Uh, you guys have seen it in countless videos of mine. I mean, I've used it through the spring, summer, and now winter. Um, I, I just get so many questions about it. I want to do a video that I could address to people so that they could check it out. And this is how it looks, you know, on me. Um, sometimes I like to put an extra pouch on the si this side, like the one on, on this side, but I'm not doing that today. Sometimes I leave that so I can put my tripod on the side, and so I leave the pouch off, and it takes a while to put it on and off. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you guys can check out my other videos. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Check out the cards up in one of these corners. 
for other videos of mine, and thank you guys so much for watching. See ya. And if you enjoyed this video, please tell your friends. Thanks.